Hello and welcome at the UHE booth, um, in, at Super Booth in Berlin 2017. We're here um, uh, showing two new things, and that is the uh, new Zebra skin, Zebra 2, one of our uh, oldest uh, products, and uh, this, the GUI, the user interface, was showing it. So we created a new skin and added some extra features into the skin as well. Uh, we'll start with that, and after that I'll uh, give you a quick glance at our new synthesizer, which will be uh, the Repro 5, a sort of polyphonic version of our Repro 1 that we released last year. We'll uh, start with the uh, Zebra 2 user interface. Let's have a look. So, um, ah, yeah. Let's start with the main uh, page. I will, um, I will assume, I will assume, uh, for uh, so I won't get too long with this video. I'll assume. Whoever watches this knows about Zebra and knows what it looks like, so I'll just mention uh, what's new and what's different. Um, first of all, what's different is, uh, well, it, it looks different, like everything was re, uh, redrawn, repainted, obviously, and we brought uh, some things to the front, um, made it more easily accessible, like uh, the um, uh, like the oscillators 1, 2, 4, the MSEGs 1, 2, 4, the XY um, tabs 1, 2, 4, they're now all immediately accessible. Um, we um, well repainted the panels, of course. Uh, what's very nice about this new skin is that we can now, we can now blow up the editor, uh, like the oscillator editor, there's an editor button, and it gets uh, large, obviously. Um, so um, you can, it's a bit l slow, but uh, it'll serve the purpose. It's uh, now a nice big editor. Um, same with the MSEGs. You can now edit, uh, hang on, I'm a, I'm a Windows user, so I'm not always familiar with where the right buttons are. Well, it's just insert. Ah, oh, yeah, here you go. So we've got now a nice big editor for the MSEGs. And um, this is a, I think this is a really huge improvement. This is, this is a very nice improvement as well, with the gradients and everything. Um, as well, uh, the EQ uh, um, has a much nicer display now, and it's much more visible. Uh, it's slightly bigger, so it's more visible what, uh, what it looks like, what the curves are. Um, we added for this update as soon as it's released there will be a new uh, there will be one or two new modules I think this still has to be decided definitely it will have a wave folder it's a variation of the wave folder that we have in our repro one it looks like this um, if you're familiar with repro one then you might know about the wave folder it's a very special type of distortion uh, in that it folds, uh, it folds back the peaks um, and uh, creates a very, um, yeah, very gnarly uh, sound. Um, in contrast to the Repro uh, wave folder, this has a small display showing, uh, demonstrating uh, the intensity of the folds. It also has a live view in case some of these parameters get uh, modulated. It's a bit CPU intensive, so you can turn it off. But the live view means you can uh, you can um, modulate. Uh, maybe I should choose a more suitable thing to modulate. All right. All right should modulate that. This might be a better version, uh, a beta version. Uh, not everything might yet work. We're still, this is a, a fresh inclusion. This will be mod modulatable. This will move then in the live view. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. I have to press a button, of course. You can, uh, you can see how the live view shows the modulation. <laughs> It's a really loud sound now with the with the wave folder, um, and Zebra 2 will also um, get a new reverb. This will be a variation, as far as I'm told, a variation of the Hive reverb, or at least something similar to that, because the Zebra 2 um, 
reverb that we have in it. It's a bit metallic sounding, it's a bit old, um, and it, Zebra 2 could really use a nice new classy smooth reverb. Uh, it will not be too CPU intensive of course, because Zebra 2 is, uh, is a very lean synthesizer anyway, lean on the CPU, so we won't have the um, reverb blow everything up suddenly. It'll be a nice lean uh, reverb. And um, there's now another new addition, which is very nice, is some things are now drag and drop. Some uh, modulation uh, assignments are now drag and drop. Like, for example, I switch to the perform page um, and I can now these are the X, Y fields that we already, already always had in Zebra 2. And you can now drag and drop to a parameter. Let's find a useful one. Let's say glide. The glide is not super useful, but uh, now this will... Um, yeah, since it's drag and drop, I immediately have the assignment and I don't have to go uh, right click and go through all the menus. I can still do that, of course. But now, whatever is visible, uh, I can connect via drag and drop. Um, that's really good. Mm. These are. Uh, this is mostly. This is mostly it for Zebra Two. It's mostly uh, there's some. The. The skin graphics, the GUI graphics, are a bit smoother. Like we had a couple of users experiencing a very laggy behavior, for example, in Fruity Loops, in FL Studio, I mean, sorry. Um, and this is now much more improved. There will be additional details, of course, once the release is there. Uh, it'll all be in a newsletter. Uh, so it'll be a free update as well. It will also be the last major Zebra 2 update before, at some point in the future, we will have Zebra 3. So this will be the final version of Zebra 2. And yeah, but we're still fine tuning a few things in the user interface, uh, in the performance. Yes, Zebra 2, update.